even if your validation results show that your system is acceptably safe and you've performed robust tool qualification, there's still more required to establish safety. Pure testing and testing alone is insufficient for life-critical systems. There are simply too many possible ways to have defects that are not caught in testing for any affordable amount of testing. That's why safety standards not only require testing, but also require using engineering rigor for computer-based system safety. This means when you say that a system such as an automated vehicle is safe, you're saying not only did you test it, but also that you intentionally used engineering rigor as a basis to create a trustworthy product. Engineering rigor addresses, can you trust the system itself? Is it engineered for safety? Were standards and best practices used? Is there a safety case documenting that all this happened? As well as, can you trust your validation process? Did you engineer the simulations properly? Did you design the validation campaign properly? For example, did you use a reasonable design of experiments to make sure you sampled everything you need to sample during testing? 